so guys there's a video of this lady that i saw on the internet so i decided to share it here on that video she really schooled said a lot of things to south africans and nigerians always talking to ghana you know i want us to check this video after checking the video out then we'll come back and react on the video sinibu celebrated his one year anniversary in office and he said that ah that why what do you mean by you don't want colonization you don't want slave trade what do you mean by that that these things are part of us and I have to make sure that I impress my colonial masters. If not, don't, don't you know that they won't give me a visa to go to uh, uh, UK? That's see, I have to do it. So for that reason, the 1960s song that the British woman sang, the national anthem that you change it in 1978, I am going to change that national anthem and send it back to 1960. Old nigeria anthem was sung by a british woman in 1960 when they gained independence so that was what they were using until 1978 they had a military ruler who said if they are free from colonial masters and they have taken their independence they need a nigerian to sing or compose the national anthem for them so they decided that somebody will compose with a nigerian and that was what they were using for over 48 years until tinibu came just yesterday and changed the national anthem he said ah what is it don't you know that the one that the british ladies sang is so beautiful so what do you mean by you want a nigerian anthem and nigerian anthem for what oh that's see i am for the old era and i am there for the west and i am a puppet so i have to do things to please them more for them to like me more ahmed tinibu has changed the national anthem of the nigerian people back to the slave era and the colonization era so that is the latest in africa and in nigeria hey <laughs> this lady is i will call her a fearless Ghanaian because she said a lot of things there she's so fearless she said things that are meant to be said to those people you know we are we are africans and i always preach about pan-africanism african coming together you know having one mind doing things together but there are still some time we still need to coach some people some countries about colonization civilization and a lot of things and this is what this lady said because when I saw the video of this lady, she reminded me of a particular lady in my country. She is also always standing for the fruit every day of our life. Why are you crying, my dear sister, in another country? You are crying because it's going to be hard for you to come to South Africa. What will I come to South Africa for? Hmm? Why will I leave my nation, Ghana, and come to South Africa? What you don't know is Ghana and South Africa have a visa-free deal, so I can just get up and come to South Africa if I wish. But I don't even think about it. And one thing you don't know is in Ghana here, we have South Africans who are here working. So put that ignorance aside. Besides that, Africa helped South Africa when it was under the apartheid regime. Some of your freedom fighters were brought to my nation, Ghana under Dr. Kwame Nkrumah to train them. Do you know the amount of money Dr. Kwame Nkrumah gave to support liberate South Africa from apartheid? Do you know the amount of money Nigerians also gave out? The support other African countries gave to South Africa to set itself free? What kind of ignorance is that? You think your nation has everything. Even Libya under Gaddafi had everything. When the white man came, today was the story of Libya. You talk about as your country as if South Africa is the heaven of Africa. You are lying. Some of you stitch my videos and you are showing me the slums in Nigeria. Yes, where you, the black South Africans, live, the same places that you are stitching are found there. The only place that is beautiful is where the white settles or where the whites live. Where you, the blacks, live, how is the place? How is your living condition? Hmm? You that is living in your own land that you can buy a land in your own land. This lady really said a lot of things that I was just wondering. What is giving her this moral? Because the way she was saying this thing with her full chest, 
you know, lecturing people, telling people how it should be. You know, South Africans, most times South Africans, they do a lot. I wouldn't blame me. I love talking about one Africa, Africans coming together, doing things together. But most times you see some countries, some African countries, that when you look at them, what they do most times surprises you. How they treat their fellow African brothers or sisters surprises you. So this lady really, really puts these South Africans in place because a lot of them are doing a lot of things here in africa they are doing a lot of things in south africa doing to their brother Ghanaians, nigerians a lot of african countries that are residing in south africa are going through pains torture from the hands of most south africans to me i would say i love south africans i love kenyans i love nigerians i love Ghanaians. but most times let's take ourselves let's come together and see ourselves as one and the first video she made about sinobu sinobu changing the national anthem from the old one to the uh, from the new one to the old one that they want us to go back to the old era so i would also want us to take a look at this video a, a South African person sharing the Ghanaian national flag. This flag represents the good people of Ghana. And as a patriotic Ghanaian, we want, you want to protect these flags with everything you have. And they going about sharing the Ghanaian flags means they don't want Ghanaians in their country. They don't want anyone in their country. And this is all bad. What is the need of having ECOWAS? Why is ECOWAS formed in the first place? Because ECOWAS is formed so that all African countries can come together, make proper decisions for their country, make proper decisions that will benefit all African countries. But right now, I think some countries are trying to like separate, they're trying to like be on their own. They don't want to like come together as Africans. They don't want to be associated with some certain kind of people. Now, sharing the Ghana flag means a loss. It's very painful seeing your fellow African people sharing your countries so painful let's take a look at the video then we'll come back and react on it look at the way a south african man is sharing the Ghanaian flag a lot of country pledge allegiance to their country and sharing this flag shows that he has no respect for any country he has no respect for Ghanaian as a nation see there is south african flag here in ghana and no one has gone there to tear it up Africans, we can do better because this is what caused a uh, conflict between America and Iraq because of the flag. So, South Africans, please calm down, calm down, calm down. We all Africans, so we don't need to like start inflicting pains on each other. We start making people feel that no one is wanted in your country. This is what South Africans are doing to Nigerians. They are doing it to Nigerians over there in South Africa. A lot of things are happening there. But we're all Africans. Let's try to like accommodate each other, live in peace. I don't know what you guys have to say about this video. Please drop your comments in the comment section. Please give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel. Turn the post notification to be notified whenever I post amazing content. Please, if you're South African watching this video, what do you have to say? Drop your comments. Ghanaians, please drop your comment. Nigerians. Drop your comment in the comment section. One Africa, one love Nigeria, one love Ghana, one love Africa. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.